In the short term, wages and prices are constant or move only sluggishly, so the business cycle may generate equilibrium output and income that differ from potential output and income, as reflected in negative or positive output gaps. Due to the close relationship between output and employment, and employment's mirror variable, unemployment, a negative output gap generates cyclical unemployment, a waste of productive resources, while a positive output gap is reflected in unemployment, less than structural unemployment, which may generate inflationary pressure. Since neither scenario is attractive, it is an objective of macroeconomic policy to reduce output gaps and keep output close to potential output. Such economic policies are called stabilization policies. Most stabilization policies are based on the short-term Keynesian model of the economy, and in particular on its relationship between planned aggregate expenditure, AE, and equilibrium output and income, Y. Among the variables that enter into the AE function are tax revenue, T, and government expenditure, G. We assume that T and G are exogenous, T bar and G bar, as are investment and net exports, I bar and NX bar, respectively. Government expenditure includes the cost of production of public goods, like public administration, defense, law enforcement, hospitals or schools, and transfer payments from government to businesses and individuals. In this tutorial, we consider transfer payments to be a negative tax, so the tax revenue, T, is government's income from taxes less transfer payments, leaving government expenditure, G, to include only expenditure on public goods. Stabilization policy made up of taxes and government expenditure is fiscal policy. And tax revenue and government expenditure are instruments of fiscal policy. Fiscal policy that increases equilibrium output and income, like an increase in government expenditure and or a decrease in taxes, is said to be expansionary while fiscal policy that decreases equilibrium income and output, like a decrease in government expenditure and or an increase in taxes, is contractionary. And fiscal policy that leaves equilibrium output and income unaffected is neutral. Just how strongly does fiscal policy affect output and income in the short term? To see that, we focus on the equilibrium equation.